Uh, good morning, everybody. Hey, look, just a quick, short training on an extremely important subject this morning in 7K. And uh, it's renewals and your auto shipper, okay? And this is becoming more and more critical as we, we continue to grow and expand and duplicate. And, uh, and as we go, expand globally over this next 10 years, it's going to become extremely important that y'all pay attention to this subject. I've trained it before, but we're going to go over, go over it again right now. And it's how to optimize your check. And if you don't optimize your check and you don't duplicate this, this is not something you can turn the switch on and then it just happens because this is a process. Everything in a process takes time, especially when you're duplicating with basically a part-time uh, network because even people who say they're full time in it are like me. They put 10, 15 hours in, maybe 20, and that's it. Uh, they're really not full time. Like they do a 40 hour work week job, they're full time in that sucker. Well, I wish more people would treat this like that. Then they would make the big income quicker. Okay. But you still got to learn the two years, skills, attitudes, and techniques. Everybody's got to learn them. If I had to learn them with my experience, knowledge, and expertise, everybody's got to learn them. And I had to go through that two-year period to really fine-tune those skills, attitudes, and techniques. And that's what has to happen. But you get to earn while you learn. Nothing wrong with that. And then three to five years to build a huge business because we're at the right place at the right time with the right product, right company, right everything is right here in our pot and just think about it you get 1099 tax benefits you get get to accumulate wealth with what you would have paid in taxes you get to buy your product every month and it pays for your business so how much better could it get and you're not buying pills lotions and potions or things with expiration date you're buying a product of real value okay so now let's optimize our check we were just talking about renewals Delta is coming up on five years, November. Uh, but this company has what you call auto renewal, but it's not an auto renewal. It's auto renewal only on the first of the month following the date that you're supposed to renew in. So the company processes it only once a month. And Sometimes I hear people all the time say, well, gee whiz, I don't have the money. I got, I got to buy my coin and I got, to, I, I got to renew. Well, hey, it's called planning. It's called looking ahead. It's called knowing when you renew. And it's called doing it at the right time, right place. Okay. When you renew, you become active for 32 days. So if you got a cash flow problem, you don't want to order an uh, auto ship going that month, then time it correctly so that you don't have to do both on the same day. But you shouldn't really be complaining about that anyway because your tax dollars are what pays for it. And if you, if you do the business the way I teach you and you leave your commissions in your business and don't just spend them until you get a year's worth of auto savers built up that that you are really building a, a business like an entrepreneur has to build a business. And you don't just spend what you make extra in your 7K business. So that means you keep your commissions in there until you build up a minimum balance of that $1,500. And then you can drag out anything you want buy you some extra silver, go have some extra uh, spending money, fun money, whatever you want to call it, okay? But you got to first get that done, okay? Because that's for the emergencies. That's for, for whenever something happens unsuspected, your coin gets to be automatically processed. You stay active. You don't lose your points the commission points, you don't lose your loyalty points because if you go inactive, you lose them. 
And so let's get to that renewal. Okay, when we are renewing, okay, in our in our business, you are to renew any time during the week of the 8th, the 21st, or the 26th. Do not renew on the, the first week uh, where, where the first falls in that pay week. Do not renew in the week that the 15th falls in that pay week because that's when the company processes the most auto shippers in the company. And for a lot of people, if they're just an associate, they're going to have 700 points coming up, 800 points come up on the first or the, or the 15th. They're not going to get paid on them. They're going to flush. If they're a copper and they got 12, 1800 points, they're going to flush. What you want is those points evened out on the 1st, the 8th, the 15th, the 21st, and the 26th. And I've taught the method of how to do that. That you do your renewals either early in that month that it's due or late in that month that's due instead of the day that it's due. Let's say you do on the 15th. Don't renew on the 15th. Renew on the week of the 8th. Or renew on the week of the 21st. Or the week of the 26th. And then bingo. It's it, Let's say your auto ship is set for the 15th. And your renewals do in October, I mean, in November. You were last active on the 15th. Well, real simple. Renew on the week of the 8th. Don't do your auto ship on the 15th. Change your date. So renew on the 9th if it falls in the week pay week of the 8th and we're going to give some we're going to look at examples we're going to look at the calendar so everybody, we're going to do november so people can understand what i'm talking about so we pull up november okay now <clears throat> that's this month that we're in right now for renewals and we see that the week of the 8th is a monday and so you could renew all the way up to the 13th. Whoa, look at there. Look at the timing. So if your auto ship is set for the 15th or the 21st or the 26th, hey, renew on the 13th. That makes you active for 32 days and change your auto ship from the 15th, 21st or 26th or even 1st change it to the eighth so it won't rin, it won't buy your coin until the 8th of december and keep you active it's a real simple process okay let's say you are you're you're due to renew on the 15th or the 16th or the 17th or the 18th or the 19th and your auto ship is on the first. That's real cool. Do the same thing. Renew on the 13th. Don't renew during that week of the 15th. Renew on the 13th. It is not going to change your date. Your annual date stays the same. Doesn't matter if you renew in October when you do in November. Even if you renew a month earlier, your renewal is just going to push out another year from your anniversary date, just like you get married. Just because you celebrate your anniversary a month early doesn't mean it changes your anniversary date. Your anniversary date is frozen in concrete. So when you renew 
you renew from that anniversary date, <coughs> the date you join. <coughs> okay, so some real pertinent examples. Now, I'm going to show you how you find out these things too, real quick in in showing you my my uh, uh, when when I share my screen. But whenever you order a coin from the coin drop, <clears throat> our coin drop coins have points on them. Now, and and many times they have a dollar amount. They they you have a a high dollar amount, low point account. But you're going to be active by buying a coin on a coin drop. <clears throat> so it'll change your active date. So let's say we just had a coin drop this past Thursday. If you bought a coin, let's say your, 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 your auto ship date is the first. But you bought a Ben Franklin two ounce coin on Thursday, this past Thursday. Well, come up on the first, you're going to get another coin, but you you will have only been active uh, not a full 32 days. So like right now, you could go into your, your, uh, your, back office and and change your date to either the 26th or wait until the uh, until the eighth passes today is November the 6th. And so if you wanted it there on the 8th, or if you wanted it on uh, the 21st, or you want it on the 26th, all you have to do is wait till those dates pass and you could reset it to those dates and you would still be active. Isn't that pretty powerful? So you are in charge of your cash flow, the coins you get, and your activity. Now you can, if you're too busy, you can just set it on automatic, let it go, and don't worry about it. Except for your renewal, and that's just once a year. That's the time you got to pay attention, and you're going to help not only yourself, but everybody else in the business. But that's above you and, and, and many times, many people in between, because re remember what I said, there are a lot of people that are associates. And on that first week, where the first of the day of the month falls in, because all, that's the biggest auto shipper date, because the company sets, uh, when a person enrolls, they set the auto shipper for the first or the 15th, which one is furthest away from their sign up date. They used to do all the first. Now they at least do the first and the 15th. But if you'll look, those are the two huge months, a huge, huge point weeks. And it's because of that one factor that that is the default setting by the company. And then on top of that, they process all the previous month. If people don't click renew now and renew themselves during the month that they are due renewal, they process the automatic renewal on the first of the month following the month that they were due to renew. So everybody that's due to renew all the month of November, they're going to process them all on December 1st with the largest auto ship month, week, week of coins. 
So all those planes accumulate in that one week. And so if you're an associate and you got, you've been in the business for a while, and now you got all those points coming up on your base side from renewals, auto ship, and you got 1,100 points, but you're just an associate, you're only going to get $500. But if they would have renewed during the week, hey, you could have got a whole bunch of $250 checks, a whole bunch of $500 checks. So learn how to be in a one another business. Help each other. Now, how do you find out these things? So I'm going to show you. You go log in to your back office. That's number one. You got to log into that back office. Then once you get into your back office, somewhere around here, uh, you go to your downliner. And one of the things you can do underneath you is you can ask this question right here. Who is renewing soon? Okay, now, when you ask that question, you see this? It's going to give you all the people that are renewing. But see, I got only actives here. You got to click on inactives too. Now look, because some people have business family pack. Some people, you know, haven't learned the value that their taxes buy their coins. That's our job to teach them. I just gave you a training on that, how to do that. Hopefully y'all are working on that because you can turn every inactive in your business into an active. And those that are even with a business family pack, why not let their taxes buy it for them? Hello, they're the judge of that. They can look and see what that does for them, okay? But anyway, here's the key. You go through it, and if you click on a person's name, okay, it's going to tell you the date they're enrolled. Well, see, this is December, so you got to scroll all the way to the bottom, okay? Now, this is a 30-day rolling thing by the company. They give us this information. So when I click on this, it's not going to give me everybody that's due from November 1 until November 6, because today's the 6. Now, tomorrow, these will be gone off of this list. So you got to get them at the beginning of the month, and then I take, take screenshots. Then you know that at least the names of the person, but you won't know their dates but you'll know it from the bottom up. It, it, it gives you from the first up, okay? So I look at it and I see that James uh, enrolled on November 6th. His anniversary date is November 6th, but look what they say renewal. Yeah, because it's gonna renew automatically on December 1st. It isn't gonna renew automatically on November 6th. It's due on November 6th. They grace him that activity because it's in the company's benefit to do such. And for him not to go click renew now. Because see, that helps you and me. Help one another. This is a one another business. Help one another. It really should renew automatically on that date. Haven't been able to talk them into programming that in yet. Of course, they got to doing this way back when. And of course, it is very beneficial. Okay. So, if uh, you can also kind of click on it and you can see who their sponsor is. So if you don't know that person, you might know the, their sponsor. And if you don't know their sponsor, you can just click down here and see the line of people who might know, starting with them going up, okay? So see, I want everybody in our group 
if you're in my group and Pamela's and you renew, you have a renewal due in November, I want everybody to renew it on the week of the 8th this month. And I'll tell you why in November. See, if you pull out your calendar, if you pull out your calendar, you're going to see that the 21st and the 26th fall in the same pay week this, this month. Sometimes that'll happen a few months out of the year. Well, that makes a big point, auto point deal. And so the, the week, the weakest week for individuals, if they're associate copper, bronze, whatever rank, the weakest week in points for people this month is the eighth. So all November renewals, try and, remit, try and renew sometime during the week of the eighth, either the, on the eighth. So if your auto, if your auto shipper is on the eighth, hey, re, cancel it, delete it, renew on the eighth or the or or the ninth, and then come back and reset your auto ship for the eighth, and you won't be buying a coin and renewing at the same time. <clears throat> if your auto ship is on the fifteenth. Great time to get it off that 15th day. <coughs> Renew on the 13th, on November the 13th, which is Saturday, or the 12th, either one works. <coughs> Set your auto ship for the 8th, just in case you forget. Okay, but then you will not order a coin until December the 8th. So you won't be ordering a coin and renewing all in the same week. Okay. Good examples for November this week, uh, this month. <coughs> so if you're in my group, I'm asking everybody in my group or that in my sponsorship lineage that I sponsored you or Pam sponsored you, and get you and your people to all renew. See, like Callie, I know she's due in November. Uh, uh, Delton, you due in November. Cindy's due in November. Uh, I know I got you up here somewhere. I'm going to try and find you. Even Aaron's due. There you are. Due in November, right there, November 18th. Okay. And I can see that your last active was November 2nd. See, I can see that here. So great. If you renew on the 13th for Cindy, then you can set your auto saver for the 8th. Powerful. You got your auto saver set now again on a different date and you're active the whole time and you don't order until December the 8th. Perfect. Okay. Good example right there. And I didn't, I didn't plan this. I just looked at, it. you know, just looked at it. It just so happened. Okay. Delton, you got an assignment already. See, <laughs> and then, you know, here's Rod Richard. Oh, gee whiz. Look at that. I got another one. Even. Okay. Rod, you enrolled November 19th, but you were 2018, not 2016. So see, yeah. You're coming up on your three-year anniversary, man. I didn't realize that. So, Rod, you were last active October 26th. That's, that's good. But, see, if you renew also on the 13th, uh, is that the date that we just said, the 13th, November? I'm trying to get this calendar out. Yeah, the 13th. So, if you go in and auto renew on the 13th, you get to reset yours, cancel the 26th, and reset your auto saver for the 8th. Perfect. You 
help yourself cash flow wise, you still get your auto saver that you want because y'all know by just not getting that coin because of their program that they got is not going to affect which coin you get in, in your savings series because they got a that thing on the four coins that they're shipping until they ship those four coins out. You're going to get one of those four and it may be a duplicate and then they'll do the next and you're going to get that. So you're going to get your coins and they're going to try and ship you the one you have least of or don't have in that four coin set that they're shipping with their current new program. So none of that affects any of that either. So how do you do this? What do we do? Well, we, we, we go in, we log in, we go to profile, and this is how you renew yourself. You also see in your profile, you see me, I was active 11 days ago. So I got 21 more days of activity left. My date is November 15th when I signed in midnight. It, it just so happened. I, I actually signed in on the 16th, but their, their date in Idaho was the 15th. So it made me the 15th <laughs> because I had a meeting the next day at George's house. And that was on my birthday, the 8th, the 17th. And I know what is it. You click on edit. And then it tells you what membership you have. And then all you do is click on this button one time. If you click twice, it'll renew you twice and you'll have two years worth of renewals. And then you'll have to, uh, you click one time, it'll tell you your membership renewed. I go down here at the bottom. I'm trying to get back to my, okay. And I'm going back to where I was now. And that brings me back to uh, the membership. And right here, it'll tell you that you're renewed until 2022. If it says 2023, you click that sucker twice. How do you do it? You go to you go to order history and you always check to see if you placed your order. If you placed your order, you're fine. And this is it. You can click on that. It'll give you your PDF, tells you exactly what you ordered. And by the way, it tells you your state coin that you're going to receive. Because they know the coin you're going to receive when you order it. So if you want to know what you're going to get instead of the surprise when it comes and you open it up in a FedEx package, that's what you do after you order a coin. Okay, now, what do we do next? Once we have renewed, we go to our auto saver. We click on auto saver and and then oh by the way i they they kept getting out of silver coins i i, I used to order five silver eagles or five maple leaves or five but I, I just had to quit that for right now because they're out of stock so often and it just says this continue all the time and i have to redo it so I just got, I'm just wait till we get our supply situation in silver that settles down again and I can get back to ordering my five ounces or six ounces of silver every time I place an order and just uh, make that happen on a regular basis again. But I'll just go in here. I'll go down to whatever option I'm using, go down to basic. I pick my due new date okay uh let, let and 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 you always want to pick a a date that is past you you know if you pick like if i pick the eighth right now today's the sixth on the eighth 
it's going to ship it to me. So I'd have to pick one past me, behind me. So I'd pick the 26th. Okay, I'm going to pick the 21st. So I'd have a different date. I'm already on 26. And so I'm going to show you what it's like. So that you have, there's two. You only want one. Now, yeah, unless you want two or three different coming different times during the month. And so then you delete. And it'll ask you, you sure you want to delete? And you say yes. And now you end up with your auto ship reset. Okay. Sometimes you'll have to come back, but always do something there so that you don't really forget. And then you go inactive. That, that you don't want to happen. Okay. So we covered number one do your renewal during the month that it's due. Find out, know your anniversary date. Pay attention to the notices. Hopefully we start putting a notice. In. I'm going to start putting them in every month now, reminding people. In fact, I'm going to put one in this month at the beginning of the month. I've been putting them at the end of the month, trying to get people or sometime in the middle of the month. But now I'm going to put them in at the beginning and I'm going to remind you, okay? Because on the month of November, we want most of our renewals for everyone. It doesn't matter who it is. Most of your renewals and that are due in the month of November, you want them to occur during the week of the eighth. That's next week. So that's the eighth, nine, eighth through thirteenth. Okay. That's when you want them to renew. Or seven through thirteenth. Okay. It's what it is. Because tomorrow starts a new week. And that's the week of the eighth. Okay. So changing your auto shipper. The other way is every time you order a coin, you can see your activity, and this is the way to get it. What you want to eventually do is you want to have your auto shipper always on the 8th, 21st, or 26th. That's what you want it set on. That's what you want to teach in your organization to duplicate. Let me show you why. Okay? Because, see, you're going to end up back where I am again. Now, I am this way for a reason. Okay? Why am I this way? I get this huge new group coming in. All of theirs is set for the 1st and the 15th. And I'm teaching them right now to change it to the 8th, the 21st, and the 26th. Now. Well, I've been concentrating. This used to be my pay. This still is my, this is, no, this this week I flip-flop again. And I think y'all see why. They're not a, this is just auto-saver coins, y'all. This is just auto-saver coin. This is not renewals, not new business. Look at there. There's not a week in there that's less than 7,000 points. Now, on this side, there's, there's a couple of weeks that's less than 7,000 points. But, hey, they don't include new business or renewals. And the same thing used to be over here. The, this side used to look like this side. <laughs> it was amazing. I flip-flops, okay? Uh, but anyway, uh, the, the key is you'll end up with everything on these two weeks and then this is the week this is the week that they process all the prior months renewals okay now like me i've been in five years so that's each year everybody joining during the month of november they're all going to process five years worth not just my last year like joey He's got an annual year coming up. Well, he's soon to have his second year coming up. So you have two years of renewal. Rod's got three years worth of renewals now coming up. Delta has five years too. But so it doesn't matter. It's whatever's in your group. And on your pay side, you're really concerned about that. 
You don't want them all processing in that first and the 15th. That's just all there is to it. I hope, I hope that point has been brought home strong to you so you can duplicate this simple principle until the company starts auto renewing on the date that it's due in their programming. Right now, that's not there. Until that happens, this program is in effect for my entire group. And I hope you work with your people who sponsored you and the people in your group to treat it as a one another business and people help one another. I've got some Texas that I'm using. And if you, if I've sponsored you, you've gotten them. And if you haven't, you will. Then you can just take and copy and paste and use these and use these as your reminders with the people you sponsored or people as you leapfrog. Everybody knows what I mean by leapfrogging. As you leapfrog over those that aren't as diligent as you, uh, but they're in your group. And you're let's say more committed than they are at their particular time in growth in the business. This is going to help you optimize your paycheck and your 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 gains so that you can acquire more silver, protect your wealth, protect what you've worked really hard for all your years as we teach other people about the benefits of owning gold and silver, the membership benefits of 7K, and while we believe every person should be a member of 7K, and every one of their family members and loved ones should be a member of 7K eventually. They may not see what we, you and I see, but it's our job to continue to communicate with them and love on them until they see what we see. And I've given you all, all what I consider the greatest tool to use by Courtney and everyone is there right there on our private team band app. And uh, I taught you how to use it, how to turn you inactives into actives. And please get on that campaign and watch it as many times as you need. And I've got the very short one, uh, very short and succinct and it's really good. And I got the more detailed one and that one, the two of the greatest tools that I've seen in a long time. Thank you. Have a blessed 7K day and see you on the beaches of the world. The next one in Cancun, 2022.